hello everyone so this is the first video of a series uh, that I'm going to upload uh, this series will be on circuit simulation actually this is uh, this series is for a special purpose uh, as we all know most of the colleges are closed uh, because of the COVID-19 outbreak and the lockdown so in this video I'll go to, I'm going to show you the PSPICE simulator which is a free and one of the most popular circuit simulators out there and this simulator is very helpful for students uh, for uh, testing their circuits so in this series of videos I'll make six videos in this series so in the first this is the first video and in this video I am going to give you an introduction to the course I will actually well, I will just provide you a download link from where, from where you can download this video so the li link is available in the description and I will show you how to install the software uh, in the part two of this video series I'm going to show you how to uh, simulate DC circuit using a uh, piece by simulator uh, in part 3 I will show you AC transient analysis actually um, in piece by uh, there are two types of analysis of um, AC circuits one is a transient analysis uh, in which we actually see the waveforms of the circuit and one is called frequency sweep analysis in frequency sweep analysis we um, analyze the circuit in frequency domain so for circuits such as uh, rectifiers, we always need a transient analysis because in rectifier we have to see the waveform, right? And uh, for uh, circuits such as filters, we have to see the frequency response of the circuit. Uh, it, it can be the power uh, voltage versus uh, frequency. So for that we use a frequency sweep analysis. So these two types of analysis are available in uh, P space. So I will show you both of them. And I will show you some oscillator circuit. Um, it can be a hard, uh, some uh, wind bridge oscillator or maybe phase shift oscillator. So some oscillator circuit I will show. And I will also show you some table phase timer based circuit, maybe a, a stable multi -fabricator. So this is all about the course. And now I will show you how to install the software. So you will download this zip file. So I have already extracted the zip file. So this is the this is what you will see inside the zip file. And before we start, we have to make sure that our antivirus is turned off. The protection should be turned off. So I am using a Kaspersky antivirus. So whatever antivirus you have, you always make sure that the protection is turned off. So I am turning off the protection. Okay. Now I click this setup. Yes. So it will be done quite fast. So it said we advise you to turn off any antivirus uh, detection programs while running this installation. So we have already um, closed the antivirus. Mm, then you have to select yes. Then remember you have to check this one, right? There are two options, capture and schematic. We have to check both of them because most of the time we will use this schematic because schematic is the uh, particular um, software where we will be designing the circuits. So you must check this. Next, 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 next. And it is done, almost done. Okay. Okay, finish. So it is done software is installed so it is very fast so what I'm now going to do is I will see what I have to do here um, it does not give you any icon in the desktop so what you can do here uh, you can search um, maybe you have Windows 7 or 10 or I'm using Windows 8.1 so no matter which OS you are using you have to search this schematic S C H E, and you will see the schematics and this is the exact tool which we will be using and the schematics is a part of the uh, pspice package and you have to search schematic don't search pspice always search schematics okay so i click here and this is the software so i click here okay don't close anything the, uh, almost four windows will open and you don't have to close any anyone okay all should be open okay so this is the circuit this is our tool so what we have is um, we have this binocular search and here we have all the various 
search all everything we can get here for example if you want to search something uh, you can search by part name or you can also search by description for example if you want to search an opm o p a m p so these are the opms lm345 ua741 these are the opms that we have and how to get it you just so suppose i want to see select this ua741 uh, this is the opm that we mostly use in our lab and we have to give place and close so then this will come here this will come here and uh, for very common parts such as um, registers you just have to you can just write the r and you get the register right and you have to click the escape or you just right click to remove this and to connect we can use the wire like this so it is very simple we can make remake any connections using this software so thank you for watching in the next video i am going to show you how to make a voltage divider using this software thank you